नमस्ते गाइज वाजे शेफो नमस्ते टैक एंड दिस इज आवर रिव्यू ऑफ द शॉमी रेडमी नोट फोर ऑन पेपर द रेडमी नोट फोर माइट नॉट लुक दैट बिग ऑफ एन अपग्रेड ओवर द रेडमी नोट थ्री बट दैट्स नॉट द केस लुक क्लोजली एंड यूल रियलाइज दैट द रेडमी नोट फोर पैक्स इम्प्रूवमेंट्स इन सम की एरियाज ओवर द रेडमी नोट थ्री विच मेक्स इट द स्मार्टफोन टू बाई विद इन रुपीज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड लेट स्टार्ट द बिगेस्ट चेंज design and build quality the redmi note 4's unibody aluminum design does not look anything like that of the redmi note 3 it feels sleeker and more premium with the curved 5 mm edges at the rear ensuring that the handset looks thinner than its 8.4 mm waistline would suggest xiaomi has also done away with plastic inserts at the top and bottom for the rf window and has instead gone for polished aluminum glass which further helps in adding to that premium feel the rear mounted speaker of the Redmi Note 3 was easily one of its weakest point since it could be muffled when placed on a soft surface thankfully with the Redmi Note 4 Xiaomi has moved the speaker to the bottom there's only a single speaker though so don't be fooled by the two speaker grills that you see the micro usb port is now also located right in the center at the bottom of the device for all you folks with ocd out there There's not much to talk about the 5.5 inch full HD display of the Note 4. It's brighter and more color accurate than the panel found on the Redmi Note 3. It is also slightly narrower and taller which helps improve one-handed use. This is a great panel overall and you'll be hard pressed to find its shortcomings. Internally, the Redmi Note 4 is powered by a Snapdragon 625 chipset. Yes, this chipset is slower than the Hexaco Snapdragon 650 chipset found inside the Redmi Note 3 and by a fair margin however this drop in performance should not concern you since the Snapdragon 625 chipset is more than capable of handling whatever you throw at it in my regular use i have not had any performance issues with the Redmi Note 4 be it while playing heavy games or while multitasking with a bunch of applications On the flip side, the Snapdragon 625 chipset is based on the 14 nm FinFET process and this makes the chipset very power efficient. So despite coming with the same 4100 mAh battery as the Redmi Note 3, the battery life of the Redmi Note 4 is in a completely different league. On a single charge, you can easily get the phone to last 2 days. And to be honest, I don't even remember when was the last time I charged this handset to 100% because the battery does not need to be full to ensure that the phone makes it through the day. This is a very good problem to have. I've already done an in-depth camera review of the Redmi Note 4 when comparing it to the Redmi Note 3, so make sure to check that video out. In the end, the Redmi Note 4 is the most complete phone that you can get within rupees 15000 while there are plenty of other options available in this price range none of the handsets are as good as the Redmi Note 4 in almost all major departments they all compromise on one aspect or the another while the Redmi Note 4 is the perfect all-rounder it's like a swiss army knife it may not be the best in all the areas but it's pretty damn good in the departments that matter so that's it for this video guys do subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends who are confused on whether they should buy the redmi note 4 or not thanks for watching